Today we're talking about uh, our latest news on results from our Wanda Herrera project in the Dominican Republic where we've completed a follow-up sampling and mapping program over two main showings that we identified uh, earlier this year. Uh, back in February we announced the discovery of two main zones, uh, Melkor and Ginger Ridge. And then in, in this most recent program we've gone back, we've done more detailed work over those two zones. And uh, we're encouraged by the fact that we've not only increased the size and scale of the geochemical anomaly at Ginger Ridge, but we've also identified quite consistent channel samples over uh, reasonable or quite sizable widths. Earlier this year we announced the discovery of the Ginger Ridge zone and at that time we identified uh, rock surface samples um, of anomalous grade over a strike length of about uh, a kilometer. In this most recent program we've been able to expand that strike from a kilometer to nearly 1.7 kilometers uh, in a northwest direction and we've also looked at uh, expanding that now up to about 400 meters in width. Within that anomalous zone, uh, we've also taken some consistent channel samples. And what's significant about that is not only did we get 13 meters grading 1.48 grams per ton gold and over 20 grams per ton silver, but the consistency of the samples within that 13 meters are also quite compelling. Every two meter interval within that, we're getting grades anywhere from a gram per ton up to two and a half grams per ton gold. So that consistency, again, is, is quite critical. Obviously, we're very pleased with these latest results as they confirm uh, the prospective nature of this ground. I think what's also quite encouraging for us is that by no means have we exhausted the potential to continue to expand these zones. Both channel samples being reported in this latest piece of news remain open in all directions, as does the geochemical anomaly. And so although we've uh, expanded um, the, the known zone of mineralization substantially at surface here, the potential to go back, do follow-up work, and a test for possible expansion still exists and that will certainly be part of the next phase of work as we move forward. Another point of interest uh, as it relates to our Ginger Ridge activity is just across the concession boundary from Ginger Ridge is uh, GoldQuest in Ibre showing and uh, GoldQuest has recently reported that they have commenced an IP program at Inibre and the plan is for uh, GoldQuest to allocate a drill to that site uh, later this spring and perhaps into the summer. So certainly an influx of activity and potential news flow to come from that region of the Torreo Gold Trend and we're, we're quite excited to be a part of that. Based on the results that we've reported here today, we're certainly encouraged to go back and do follow-up work on the project. Certainly what we're seeing here is the emergence of what appears to be a classic epithermal type mineralization. And uh, so as we move forward here uh, on our work programs and plan programs for the Dominican Republic, we certainly can envision additional follow-up program of sampling and mapping on a more detailed basis to see if we can push the boundaries of these anomalies and known mineralization. Uh, subsequent to that, of course, the next obvious um, step would be to run IP uh, or induce polarization. That, of course, would be something we would uh, hope to do later this spring. All of that, of course, is geared towards the potential of identifying, delineating drill targets for a follow-up drill program or a first phase drill program for precipitate and uh, all going well and result contingent, we would look to do that at some point later in the year.